Okay, I have an instructor that needs to have um, the point totals on two exams changed. Uh, they're both out of 100 right now, so there's 100 questions. That's, uh, they're each worth one point. If I come into the, the editor for the instrument and want to edit it, because the point total is based on the individual question points, I would normally come in to each question and um, change 1 to 1.5 and then update question. I didn't really want to do that 200 times, so um, what I did instead was I went to settings and I selected export course content and I'm going to export both of those quizzes. Um, you can do them individually. I, I just said all quizzes and it's going to put them into one folder. And there's that folder right there. I'm going to drag it to my desktop. Now when it's downloaded, it's a, um, it's a zip file. Um, So you just want to open that up first. And there's the regular file. And when I open this folder, there's, there's three things in here. Um, one is a manifest because I have um, these two separate quizzes. And then um, uh, the quizzes have these internal numbers identify, you know, Canvas internal numbers that they're identified by. If I double click on one of those, then I will see an XML file. And I'm just going to open that with uh, Text Wrangler. You could use any kind of text editor. And so when I first open it up, I can see um, which of the two I'm dealing with. So this is the final exam, Famous Scientist Final. And Right here, field entry one, that's the points possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that, and then um, I'm going to do a find. And then I'm just going to say, replace it with 1.5. And like I said, you know, this is a specific exam that has um, 100 questions. They're all one point. They all need to be 1.5 to change the score. So it's fairly straightforward. So I'm just going to replace all of those. Found 101 instances, 101 occurrences. Uh, then I will save my XML file. And I'll go back and do the same thing with the other one. OK, when I opened up my um, second XML file here, I had noticed that it had replaced 101 instances, and I only had 100 questions. Um, so I looked, and the field entry tag is actually used um, uh, with a value of 1 for maximum attempts. So I'm just going to go back there and change that manually to 1, and save that. And then after I do my find and replace um, uh, for all the field entries in this other exam, I'll go back and change that one manually. Okay, now that my two XML files have been changed, I'm going to close this folder. Um, and you'll notice it's a it's a regular folder type. It's not zip, so I need to go and compress that again. Um, okay, so I've got the changes made to the XML files. Um, I've recompressed or re-zipped uh, the folder. And I'm going to go into Canvas under Settings, and I'm going to select Import Content into this course. I'm going to select Import Quizzes, and then I will choose the file that's on my desktop. There's the new one. And then I'm going to overwrite assessment content with matching IDs. That's the whole point behind this exercise is I want to get those points change from 1 to 1.5, so that'll change my score. And then I'm just going to say import quiz. Okay, now I'm going to open up my um, quizzes tab, and I'll see that there are two unpublished quizzes, which are um, 
the imports that I just did. Uh, and I'm going to double click on this to open it up. All right, now it's saying that this is worth zero points because it hasn't had the ability to refresh the total points yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say edit. Now it says 150 points because it has gone in here. And when I look at the points on each one of these questions, they're now going to be at 1.5.